In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to shoot your first travel vlog, what shots to get, and how to really build your story so that you come home and you know how to put everything together. I know when I first started shooting, traveling, I was like, I have no idea what to capture. And I was so confused that I would come back with all this footage, and not know what to do with it. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the three types of shots that you wanna start collecting during your trip. And then also how to put it together. The most important thing that you need to know about shooting your first vlog is that it's not about the epic footage that you capture, because anyone can do that. Vlogging is about you and really showing your personality. So make sure that you have a shot list where you just focus on getting and capturing your personality, what it is that you want to do. why it is that you love to do that and just bring us into your world. Just woke up. And this is where I am. It is Monday and part of me feels like I should be doing something like productive. That is what makes the bomb vlog. The three types of shots that you want to start collecting to build your first travel vlog are establishing shots, camera held shots, and selfie talking to the camera shots. So the first type of shot you want to get are establishing shots. They're usually like wide type of shots like this. A lot of times they're more held on a tripod or stable. And establishing just means it sets the scene. It tells a story of yeah. where you are. You're dying to cry your heart out. The next type of shot are handheld shots. Ooh, sexy. Sexy. Not you, not you. That. <laughs> so, right now, I'm kind of just, it's like safari. Like, and this is my friend, Cass. Well, she's not just my friend, she's my family member, cousin. Luna and Lebowski. So you see how this is a handheld shot? I'm like showing you what is going on. And with handheld shots, you wanna make sure that you're holding the camera pretty still. My camera has really good stabilization, so that helps. Get it, Justin! <laughs> this is Lebowski's very first camping trip, and he's having so much fun. I don't brush my teeth. Your tea is camping. Yeah. It's heavy like eating seafood. Oh, I'm gonna be camping. You're running behind, dude. Come on, hurry up. There's no sand today. And then lastly, you have these to the camera shots where you're talking indirectly into the camera lens and you're letting people know what's going on. So right now we are walking on this cliff to go down there, hang out. They're gonna bring some surfboards down in a little bit. But these are the three shots that you wanna get when you start creating travel vlogs. Establishing shots, handheld shots, showing people what's going on, and then also selfie, talking to the camera shots. With these three types of shots, you can really start to build a story. And you always wanna make sure that you have a beginning, middle, and end. Every vlog should have a beginning, middle, and end. You wanna make sure you put in cues like, so we're here now, and this is the beginning of our day, and then the middle would be like, and now we're doing this. Those kind of connector words, like, and now we're doing this, or we're gonna be going, going over here, and then finishing up with, today was an awesome day. Those type of words that denote time really help to build your story together so it has a beginning, middle, and end. 
This allows you to shoot with intention and have chronological order with your story. Even if you're shooting, you're not sure what your story is quite yet, you can still have these cue points for yourself in post-production to let you know how to put this story together. So we are headed home. We were just here for one night and it's sunset, golden hour. It's beautiful, we're just cleaning up. Had such an amazing, relaxing overnight stay here at San Onofre. So let me know, did this help you? I know that when I first started learning this and creating this structure really helped me so much to free all that confusion and like what to do or or how to talk and like also how to bring all of the videos home and make a powerful story from it that I would be proud to show and, and upload to YouTube or Facebook or wherever you're gonna post it online. So let me know, first of all, if this helped you, what was your biggest takeaway? And then second of all, I really wanna just share with you that it starts with you and it starts with doing that inner work and that awareness on yourself because the more you work on yourself and you know yourself, it's gonna show up in your videos. And what is going on inside of us reflects and shows up on camera. So the more you work on yourself, the more confident you're gonna be when it comes to vlogging. A lot of people say that what stops them is this fear and this awkwardness of feeling like you're shooting yourself in front of, um, you know, in a public area. The, the freeing truth about this is that everyone feels that way. I feel that way often. And when you know that everyone feels that way, then it's, it becomes less of a thing and just more of a choice. How bad do you want it, right? How bad do you want to have the freedom to be who you want, when you want, and to really share that with the world in your vlogs. Like, it's so freeing to know that you can create what you wanna create, and you're not worried about what other people think. It's totally a natural thought to think this because it's part of your ego mind, but you also have the power and the ability to take that out and to say no to that and to follow your heart, your soul, and to share yourself with confidence in video. Just know that if you especially have the intention to be a travel vlogger, you're always gonna be in new areas where things are gonna feel uncomfortable. So this is just one other layer, one other muscle that you wanna build stamina for, your confidence and, and really your desire to share. Because when you focus on the people on the other side, when you focus on your viewers, really that's when the fear can dissolve because it doesn't become about you anymore. It really is about the people who you're sharing this world with, whatever it is that you're shooting. So I hope that this helped you and my goal is to empower you to share your vision and your light with the world as you travel, as you vlog, and we all have something so, so valuable and important to share. If you wanna learn more about what that looks like, to work with me one-on-one -on -one as a coach, check out my website, lifebyjazz.com. There's a ton of information and more free resources on how to take this even farther. Make sure to subscribe to this channel because I do post all the time and you don't want to miss my videos so share this video leave a comment leave me some love and i love you so much till next time namaste ashe that means good vibes good energy and peace and blessings to you hope you learned a lot and i encourage you to go out there and shoot your very first vlog it really just takes going out there and doing it i hope that this video really broke it down for you and i can't wait to see your videos
dropped in with the sound of the ocean, just letting go to everything that we have going on in our lives 